All right, so welcome back, everyone. So we're on part two of our eight-part lecture on decision theory. All right, and now we're looking at Maximax, otherwise called optimistic criteria. All right, so part one, we looked at the payoff tables, and now we're on to part two. All right, so the first thing that we need to do when it comes to decision theory is to understand the terminology. All right, so Max versus min so max is short for maximum right and we interpret maximum as being max as being the best outcome right so the best outcome is either getting the highest profit or you being able to pay the lowest cost right so the best outcome highest profit or lowest cost min is short for minimum Right? And we interpret min as being the worst outcome. Right? And this would be earning the lowest profit or having to pay the highest cost. Right? So having gotten an understanding of max versus min, we now look at maximax. So max in max, max of the max. So we break down the, the words, because the words tell us exactly what we will be doing. All right, so max of the max, best of the best. So since it's the best, it means you'll be best of the best. It means you'll be choosing from the best. All right. So first step, identify the best result for each alternative, and we are looking at the rows here. All right. And then step two is to choose the best from all of those. All right. So. Here we're looking at a payoff table for uh, alternatives are choosing a country for our new factory. Right? So our decision alternatives or possible choices are South Korea, Philippines, Mexico, or Jamaica. Right? The figures here in this payoff table represent costs in millions. So of course our goal We'll be to pay the lowest possible cost. That's our overall goal. So step one is to identify the best possible result for each location. Right? So looking at South Korea, we're looking at either 19 million, 18.5 million, or 17.6 million. Right? Of those three costs, the best possible result will be the lowest cost of 17.6 million. Right? Looking at Philippines, we're looking at 19.2 million, 17.1 million, or 14.1.9 million. And of these three, the lowest cost will be the best possible outcome. And that would be 14.9 million. For Mexico, we're looking at 22.5 million, 16.8 million, 13.8 8 million. The best would be the lowest cost, 13.8 million. And then for Jamaica, 25 million, 21.2 million, or 12.5 million. Right? And the best would be the lowest cost of 12.5 million. So now we have simplified this table. We are now looking at a single cost for each location. Right? So we are choosing now between South Korea at 17.6 million, Philippines at 14.9 million, Mexico at 13.8 million, or Jamaica at 12.5 million. Right? And of those choices, the best possible choice would be Jamaica at 12.5 million. Right? So if we are using Maximax, our selection would be Jamaica. Right, based on the lowest cost of 12.5 million. All right, here we have another scenario. Here we're looking at alternatives to options to meet uh, capacity requirements. Right, so the choices, the possible choices, which are our decision alternatives, are either to build a new plant, subcontract, do overtime, or do nothing. Right, so build a new plant, subcontract, overtime, or do nothing. 
these figures, we know they represent profit because you can't have a negative cost and you can't have a negative revenue. So these figures represent, represent profits. All right, so step one, identify the best result for each alternative. So for build a new plant, we're looking at three possibilities. Losing $300,000, making a profit of $240,000, are making a profit of 350000 And of those three, the best possible result is the highest profit of $350,000. Right? For subcontract, we're looking at a $20,000 loss, a $90,000 profit, or a $180,000 profit. Of those three, the best possible result would be a profit of $180,000. For overtime, we're looking at a loss of $10,000, a profit of $60,000, or a profit of $110,000. The best result will be the highest profit of $110,000. And for do nothing, it's zero across the board, so the best outcome is, of course, zero. The only possible outcome that is. So we have narrowed it down now to one result for each location, right? So for build a new plant, we're choosing between these alternatives. So it's either we build a new plant for a profit of $350,000, subcontract and make a profit of $180,000, do overtime with a profit of $110,000, or do nothing with a profit of zero. Right? Of those outcomes, the best possible result would be to make a profit of $350,000. Hence, we would choose to build a new plant. Right? So for Maximax, the choice would be to build a new plant. Right? So simple technique, just keep practicing until perfection is achieved. And we know that perfection is a lots of little things done well. Right? Fernand Point. Our next lecture will be on Maximin, and that will be part three. All right, well, good. All the best.